Okay, well here we have our fried chicken, shrimp, and Some people who watch this program seem to have certain, well, culinary expectations of us. I bet y'all have eaten a lot of chicken fried steak, or barbecue, or biscuits and gravy, or insert your favorite food here, they say. And yeah, we have eaten a lot of that stuff in the 50 plus years that we've traveled the back roads of Texas, but none of it compares to the amount of one particular food item we've consumed in the past half century or so. One most folks don't even think to ask us about. Ice cream. Look at this, Kelly and Bob. This is our dinosaur egg. What dinosaur egg? Yes. So that's the little, little... Blue ice cream with... Dinosaur eggs. Uh -huh. <laughs> they are, but Mini. those are expensive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. They're hard to find. <laughs> Meet Henry Gentry Jr., entrepreneur, big thinker, and oh yeah, a Yankee from Pennsylvania who says he had the good sense to move to Plano, Texas. My dad was named Henry. I was named Henry, first born in Philadelphia. Saw it all in Philadelphia. <laughs> Had an ice cream store for years in Philadelphia. Came to the Plano in 1992 with the dreams of starting an ice cream company. When he was just a kid, Henry knew he wanted a career that made him happy, something that would make both Henry and his customers smile. Something that's fun because, well, Henry is a fun guy. So he moved from Philly to Plano to open his ice cream store because he heard there were lots of other big thinkers in Texas. In fact, he heard that everything in Texas has to be big. A couple of advantages that I was able to detect right off the bat was we give scoops the size of Texas. Big. No golf ball size ice cream scoops here. Our scoops are the size of softballs. That was number one. Number two was we're going to make great ice cream. If I'm gonna put my name on it, my mom told me, I don't want anybody calling the house telling me how bad that ice cream is. <laughs> so I said, Mom, we're gonna make the greatest ice cream. So now Henry is celebrating more than 30 years of his ice cream shop. In fact, folks here in Plano, Texas, just call him Mr. Ice Cream. His delicious concoctions are so beloved that you can now find his ice cream on the dessert menu at more than 800 restaurants. And don't think it's the same old, same old 31 flavors, because Henry says he's developed more than a thousand flavors of his famous ice cream. Like hog wild, which is <laughs> bacon ice cream. And when you eat it, it makes you go hog wild. What are some of the strangest flavors that you've made? We make basil ice cream. We make lemon sorbet with pine nuts. We make ancho pepper chocolate. Ooh. And these are some of the suggestions that chefs give me. Now, you might think that making ice cream is simple. After all, how hard could it be to throw together some cream, sugar, flavoring, and ice? Well, Henry says it's a little more complicated than that. In fact, he has even been to ice cream college. Did you go to school? Ice cream school? Is there such oh, a thing? Come on. There is. No. <laughs> Yes. Ice cream school? Yes, there are several throughout the country, and you can Google them. The one I went to was Rutgers University. Wait a minute. Henry, Rutgers University, University. has an ice, ice cream, cream Ice cream program. You might say Henry Gentry Jr. has found his calling in life, that ice cream is the icing on his cake, the cream of his crop, the thing that makes Henry, well, cool. But Henry says there is even more to it than that. Henry says it all comes down to one thing that he very much believes. So much so that it's the official slogan of Henry's ice cream. The slogan here at Henry's ice cream is ice cream makes you pretty. Because they smile when they're eating ice cream. Exactly. And you look prettier when you're smiling. And when you're eating ice cream. So overall, ice cream makes you pretty.